Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of graphic designing. Today I'm going to show you how to design this realistic ruby in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. First, create a new document. Go to the file, click new, and use this size. And click OK. I already created a new document. First, Click CTRL and hold R on your keyboard. And drag this line right here. Now do this again. CTRL and click R and drag this line. Now, click on this line, right click on the mouse, go to transform, rotate, and type 90 degrees. Now, put this into the center, like this. Now it's good. Now, click on the rectangle tool and hold shift and make rectangle like this. Move this rectangle into the middle right here. Click on the stroke and fill the stroke with the black color. Click on the swatches. If you don't have swatches, go to Windows and click on the swatches. Now. Now click on this click on, click on this rectangle tool, right click on the mouse, go to transform, rotate and type 45 degrees. Now click on the line segment tool and choose line and make line like this. Hold shift. Also this, all shifts, and now we have two lines. Sorry, I believe this. All shift and make line. Now, select all and go to the Pathfinder. If you don't have Pathfinder, go to the Windows and click Pathfinder and click Divide. Now, select all, go to the object, go to the group. Now it's time to put color on this object. Now click on this object and choose this color. I'll put the color codes in video description. This. Now select all and Click on the stroke and click no. Now it's, we need to connect these two parts like this. Now it's time to make another rectangle. Make rectangle, hold shift. Click on the fill, click no. Now it's time to rotate again this, click, right click on the mouse, transform, rotate, and click, ok. Now move this right here, put the stroke, put, put black stroke. 
Now click on this object, go to the edit, copy, edit, paste in front, and hold shift and do this. Make it a little bit smaller. Now it's time to color this. Click on the gradient and sorry, stroke no, click on click on the fill and click on the gradient. Now on the left side right here on the gradient slider we need to use this color. Color code color code is in the video description. So on the gradient slider change to RGB and let's see color code it is I will copy this and put right here. Do the same as the I. So we need to first click on this subject and put the color code right here. Now Change the angle, type 14.5.8, like this, minus 45. And go to the transparency and change to the screen like 